Hello everybody, this will be a tutorial on how to configure SAML on Google Workspace to the platform. Let's begin. First thing you're going to do is log into your Google Admin Workspace. Next we're going to click Directory, we're going to click Users, and we're going to go to More Options. From here we'll go to Manage Custom Attributes. Next we're going to click Add Custom Attribute under Category. We're going to add SAML role. Under name, we're going to add SP role. Under type, we're going to add text. And under visibility, we're going to make visible to the organization. And for the value, we're going to add single value. And now we're going to click add. Next, we're going to go to our dashboard. We're going to go down to apps. We're going to click web and mobile apps. We're going to click add app and we're going to add a custom SAML app. We're going to name our app and we're going to click continue. Next, we're going to click download metadata. Now we want to create our SAML integration on the platform. First thing we're going to do is go down to company, company settings, scroll over here to SAML settings, and then we're going to create our SAML integration. We want to give our SAML configuration a name. Under allowed domains, we want to enter in your company's email domain. Click add. Next, we're going to upload the metadata file that we took from Google Workspace. Next, we want to get the IPD entity ID from the platform and paste it into our custom SAML app. Then we'll get the SSO sign-in URL and we'll paste it under ACS URL. And then click continue. Next, we're gonna click add mapping. And under select field, we're gonna click primary email and we're gonna type email. We're gonna click add mapping again. We're gonna select first name and we're gonna type first name. Add mapping, last name, last name add mapping phone number phone number add mapping we're going to click sp rule and we're going to type sp rule now we're going to click finish now we're on our saml app page and we're going to click user access for this step if you want everyone in the organization to be able to log into the platform enable the on for everyone if you want just a few users in the organization to be able to log into the platform, you can make a group of those users and assign the group to the SAML app. For our case, we're going to click on for everyone and click save. Go back into the platform and save your SAML integration. This completes the final step for our SAML integration. Make sure that you have your system users accounts added to the platform that will be using the SAML integration. Now we're going to test to make sure that our SAML integration has worked. Now we will log out of the platform. And log back in. And as you can see, we were successful. This completes our tutorial for SAML configuration in Google Workspace to the platform. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial.